Hi everyone, welcome to the second lecture of the series. Uh, in this presentation, I'm going to introduce the basic ideas and concepts of uh, a finite state transducer, right? So the main difference between a finite aut automaton and a transducer is that a transducer has both an input and an output, right? Uh, by conventional notation, um, the output in front here, you can see it's the um, input and the letter next to it will be a output. Um, so for example, if you consider the path 0, 1, 1, 2, 5, right? Um, this path 0, 1, 1, 2, 5 will, requ will require a input of A, B, B, C, D, and it will return a output of uh, Z, Y, Y, X, the blue. Now, why is that? So you, if, if you look here, if you will take this path, this trans transition, uh, you, you require an A, it require a B, and require another B, require a C, and finally requiring a D in order to reach the uh, end state. So in the process, the transducer will return a Z, two Ys, an X, and a W here, right? So this is uh, basically what is what a uh, finite state transducer is. Now, a formal definition of a finite transducer is that it's uh, instead of a five tuple, it's written as a six tuple. The difference is again of of course uh of the inputs and the outputs. So you can see now instead of having A as one single alphabet, um, now you have two sets of input labels and uh, output labels. Now the, the rest are mostly the same except for the, the set of uh, trans state transitions. Now um, what does this actually mean? Well before moving on I have to clear up this notation. Now uh, for example if you if I consider uh, a, a walk of uh, 0, 1, 2, 5, right? Uh, this path 0, 1, 2, 5 formally is written as this. Uh, it's written as 0, A, Z, 1, then 1, C, X, 2, and 2, D, W, 5. Right, you can see each each uh, each bracket here, uh, each pair, pair of brackets here represent one transition, one arrow. So as you can see, the, 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 the four tuple has the same format as the uh, Cartesian product of the four sets here. Uh, Q being the uh, set of all st possible states, and uh, this is the p all possible inputs, all possible outputs, and again, all possible states. So you can see it starts at some state, uh, has an some input, has a output, and uh, has a uh, 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 it reaches another state, right? So this is basically this is what this Cartesian product actually means. It actually uh, ca captures all the information of all the parameters involved in a single transition, right? So for a WFST, a weighted fi finite state transducer, right? Each trans uh, transition, uh, initial state and final state now has an additional weight component to it. So you can see that this initial state here has a weight of 0 0.5, and uh, this in, uh, end state here has a weight of 0 0.1. Now, um, what this weight means uh, will be discussed later on, um, but it could mean a variety of things, uh, from cost to penalty to probability and so on and so forth, right? And you can see that each transition now also carries an extra weight here. Now, uh, if we were to consider the same path of uh, 0, 1, 1, 2, and 5, uh, the input, of course, is A, B, B, C, D. We established that. Um, and the, the output will be Z, Y, Y, X, W. Now, on top of returning a output, a weighted finite state transducer also returns the weight of the path. So in this case, it's, zero, it's the product of all the weights are in, uh, involved in the path. So 0 0.5 multiplied by 1.2, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 3, 2, and 0.1. So you can see it's really the weight of this path. Now, what does this symbol mean? Uh, it will be introduced a little bit later on after we learn more about semi-rings and so on and so forth, right? So the more formal definition is that a weighted finite state transducer is a eight tuple. Um, the difference between a finite state transducer and a weighted one is that now it has extra two components of a initial weight function and a final weight function. Um, so you can see that this maps all uh, 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 initial states to a particular weight, right? And uh, all final state to a particular weight. And of course, you can see there's a slight change in the set of state transitions. So you can see now it's a five tuple instead of the previous four tuple. And that's because, again, each transition has an extra weight here, right? So you can see here, uh, consider the same walk, 0, 1, 2, 5, right? The path now will be returned formally as this. Instead of 0, A, Z, 1, 1, C, X, 2, so on and so forth, 
there's an additional weight component to it. Again, we are trying to capture as much information as possible, and therefore each transition has a format of uh, of this uh, Cartesian product of these five sets, right? So, as so this is you can see that this is the main difference between a weighted and an unweighted finite state transducer. Uh, just note that the final uh, the final state and the uh, initial state will have an additional weight, right? And each transition will be weighted as well. Right, so this is the, these are the main differences. On top, on top of that, there are there are many others uh, uh, type of uh, finite automaton. So, um, for example, uh, in the first lecture, you know that uh, there is this thing known as the finite state acceptor, where there's a particular input, and if there's a path that starts from the the the, the initial state and ends in the final state, uh, it will return a true or, or or one, right? So this is known as a finite state acceptor. Now, um. I've introduced what a uh, transducer is, right? A transducer is that if it's a, it has a particular input, and if there's a path that starts from the the in, the, the initial state and ends in the final state, uh, it will have an output as well. Uh, and same similarly for weighted finite state transducer, right? Not only it have a, it has an output, it outputs the weight of the particular path as well. Um, and finally, the weighted finite state acceptor, it's sort of the same as an acceptor. Instead of a returning true, if there is a path, it returns the weight of the path, right? So these are the four main uh, um, finite automaton that we will be working with in these few lectures. Um, and finally, um, this these are some of the special uh, names that we give to special tran transducers, right? For example, uh, the first one will be deterministic transducer. So uh, it, we we call a transducer T uh, is that is deterministic if there if there are no two transitions leaving the same state sharing the same input label. Um, it just means that for all the arrows coming out from the circles, um, there is no same input because uh, if if there are two different imp uh, if there are two different arrows uh, that use the same input, um, clearly you cannot tell where is it where is the path going to end up, and that's why we say that. Uh, uh, if, if there are no two transitions leaving the same state, we, we, we call the transducer deterministic. And of course, uh, a, another very important definition is a sequential transducer. So uh, a transducer T is sequential if there's a unique initial state, which means that there's just one initial state. And um, functional, a functional transducer is that it's basically a one-to-one -one map. Uh, for any input X, right, there's a unique, imp uh, uh, there's a unique, output y, right? Um, and what is epsilon transitions? Well, epsilon transition is that uh, if there's a state transition that that can be made without using any input, right? We, we say that the transducer has epsilon transitions in it. And of course, the final thing is that the, something known as a stochastic weighted finite state transducer. So for every state, right, uh, the, the sum of all the transition weights are, are exactly one. So it's the reason why stochastic is used is because it's basically a probabilistic uh, uh, weighted finite state transducer where all the arrows have outgoing weights of uh, of the, the sum of the outgoing weights is exactly one, right? So these are some of the definitions that you will run into again in this uh, course. So uh, just take note of them, right? So if you want additional readups, um, please. You can look at these two books, Mathematical Foundations of uh, Automata Theory, as well as uh, Speech Recognitions of uh, Algorithms Using Weighted Finite State Transducers. Right? Um, I hope to see you again in the next lecture. Thank you.